So now I want to show you something really cool. Hayden, did I ever tell you that I was once a magician? No. No? Well, check this out. I'm going to turn the water in this kettle into any color that I wish. Do you believe me? No. No? All right, let's start with, can we start with this one? Yeah. I want to turn it yellow. Okay. Yeah? All right, let's go. Whoa. That didn't work too well, did it? Wait. Hi. Looks yellow to me. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So this one, I want to turn the water in this kettle to the color green. There we go. Hi. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Next one, I'm going to go for dark green. How do you do this? <laughs> I want this one to be pink. <laughs> this one to be red. Do you like red? Yes. Yeah, me too. Hi. And this one, I like purple. Do you like purple? Let's go for a light shade of purple. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go. How? Hey. That was amazing. I know, right? So how did I do that? Stay tuned and I'll let you know, and you can do this in your own kitchen as well. So to start today's science experiment, you need one red cabbage. Just like this one. Peel off the cabbage leaves like this. Or simply chop it up. Put your cabbage leaves in a pot of water and making sure Use enough leaves to fill the water to the brim. All done. Bring your cabbage to the boil and let it boil for about five to seven minutes. Take your cabbage off the stove and put it in a place where it can cool down for about 10 to 15 minutes, maybe even a little bit longer than that. But also take note of the color of the liquid, which has gone a lovely purple color and the leaves which have been bleached of their purple color and starting to go white. Let's leave that for a bit. When making cabbage in your kitchen, one of these is highly recommended. Mm. Next, you need a colander, just like this one. Once your cabbage solution has cooled down, strain it off using your colander. And if you like boiled cabbage, this one's for you. I don't. <laughs> and there you go. Your cabbage indicator is ready for some experiments. So now it's time for the cool part of the experiment, the part where you can amaze your family and friends. And all you have to do is take your red cabbage indicator and pour it into a container where nobody can see the contents of it. I've chosen a kettle. I'm pretty sure your mom will kill you if you use her kettle, but here you go. Once you've done that, you need to take an acid or a base. Now I've chosen quite an interesting base. It is bleach and I highly recommend you do not do this. Rather choose something else that's much safer. But you put enough in it at the bottom of the glass where nobody can actually see that there's anything in the glass. You can do that with lemon juice, vinegar, bicarbonate of soda, anything you want to. And then you take your kettle, which people think has water in it, but it's actually an indicator. Now bleach is great. Look what happens to the color when I add the indicator. First of all, it goes a really dark color, and then it lightens up to a yellow. So you saw it go dark green, and I'm, it might be a bit hard to tell on camera, but as it settles, it goes a very yellowish color. So how do you know if something is an acid or a base? Well, it's quite easy to tell. Anything that is purple, pink, or red is an acid, and anything that is blue, green, or yellow is a base. And obviously, if something remains the same color, it is neutral. Go and try this at home and amaze your friends.